Greetings, Val Captains, and welcome back to another episode of World of Warships with the High Pound. And today we have a community replay, and uh, I'm, I'm glad this was sent in by the Leo because we all know I'm not the biggest fan of DDs. But apparently, I'm not DD in white, and I've got the wrong ones. So we will, we will start working towards the. Uh, we want to get ourselves the uh, the Z23. We're going to pick up the T61 uh, from the store as well, because uh, that's one of the, the few premium ships that I'm actually missing and is available. So I'm going to snatch that up whilst I get the chance. Uh, so uh, Viva La Resistance. Uh, we have the Leo here in the premium tier six, the La Terrible, and uh, well. Let's see, we, we we should be in for a treat. So we've got three destroyers on each team, two cruisers and four battleships. So, prime targets really. And uh, as you can see, the Leo, he does put himself in the sea. So he's making them aware that he is there. Uh, but he's uh, he's launched some talks at the, uh, at the Bismarck. He's getting himself over towards the uh, towards the, the, uh, the edge of sea and uh, from what I'm assuming that's an escape route he's, he's being smart and he's planning his potential escape if he gets uh, spotted and shot at which he does he gets spotted by the enemy destroyer and uh, the uh, Bismarck secondaries start sending some uh, some love his way uh, but those torpedoes he fired earlier they're looking pretty good are we going to get a couple of hits that's one two two hits and some flooding uh, but the Bismarck instantly puts the flooding out uh, but the other destroyer headed over here and in a gunfight I would bet on a French DD over almost everything else and there it is Hidachi yeah, trying to gunfight a French DD not the smartest move a bit of luck here, the Leo has looks like the Leo is to see the yeah, has, he's to see his engine. So he actually is going to struggle to uh, really fight his torps. And as you can see, he doesn't, he doesn't get a chance to get his torpedoes away at all. Problem solved, sir. And uh, that's a, that's a, that's a juicy 40,000 damage already. And uh, the Leo is going to wisely use this Yudachi smoke. Thank you very much, Yudachi. <laughs> and uh, he's going to try and uh, get some uh, get some fire, some punishment on this uh, on this York whilst the opportunity presents itself. Ah, but Bismarck spotted. Now Bismarck's burnt his uh, damage control. We know he's burnt the damage control. So if he gets a fire here, it's all right. It's not. It might not burn for the full duration, but it's going to burn for a good while anyway. Uh, unfortunately, the Bismarck is turning away and he's going to be out of our reach. Switching back to the York. Another 25 seconds left in the smoke screen, thanks to the Yudachi. And, uh, come on. Uh, but, uh, as you can see, so although the Leo is having a pretty good time of it, his team, on the other hand, are already down by three ships uh, one destroyer one cruiser and one battleship and so far it's just well it was just the one dd but now it's one dd and two cruisers that have been taken down and uh, although the enemy did cap a early uh, there seems to be considering <laughs> there's two dds still alive on the enemy team they've only capped one and that's been flipped and although they are contesting it, B has still just been left entirely open, entirely to its own devices. So uh, there's a there's a there's a little lesson to be learned here about capping flags, and uh, points do make prizes. So uh, the Leo is obviously jumping in to sea. He's got a battleship entering with him, so this should be a reasonably quick cap. 28 seconds and ooh, torpedoes it's all right we're in the destroyer they're easily dodged and hopefully 
that will act as a nice early warning for, uh, for our friendly battleship and uh, the Leo decides to uh, sling some torpedoes down there to try and catch the other Yadachi out but uh, unfortunately the Yadachi had already moved along and uh, that's it, engine taken out, Yadachi repairs, Yadachi starts smoking up, do you expect anything less really? <laughs> and C is successfully captured and uh, I've got a funny feeling Leo's going to go happy so <laughs> Be very quiet. We're hunting destroyers. <laughs> the Leo is uh, is going to pop in. He's going to sail. You know, he, he hasn't continued sailing in a straight line. He has been turning. Torpedoes uh, dead ahead. Ooh, and there comes torps from the Yadachi. Torpedoes to port. So well, we're pretty confident as well now that this Yadachi doesn't have any torpedoes left, um, unless he, he may. But there's always the chance. No, he. Can, yeah, yeah, he does have a reload booster. I was thinking the cargo, or you get the options. And uh, oh, there we go. Pops out of the smoke. He's actually stuck around a bit too long to try and get those torpedoes off. And he's put himself in harm's way. And this is going to be another easy, easy kill because the Japanese, the Japanese torpedo boat. Versus the French gunboat is never going to end well. So, uh, as you can see, things have changed. <laughs> the Leo's team now has a pretty substantial lead. They've got C. Okay, B is uh, B is uncapped, but the Leo is pointing his nose in, so he looks like he's going to pick up the cap there. And uh, we did flip A, although that is in the process of being flipped. And, uh, and yeah, the, the enemy team have lost all three of their DDs, two of them, thanks to the Leo. And uh, their, two of their cruisers are gone, and they're just left now to one, uh, three battleships. And uh, yeah, that Iowa, that Iowa's been, been great for his team. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, he's, he's sitting there, he's he's on the edge of two brothers. <laughs> and uh, and uh, hasn't really contributed, uh, which is a bit of a shame. So the Sean Horst dodges a few torpedoes, but he is slowly but surely turning and getting into the range of the Leo. So, uh, the Leo fires one set of torpedoes decides to hold his fire for the second set and there we go seven six five four a three two one and that is B captured so uh, that is that is a 350 point lead for all intensive purposes and two caps uh, so there's a cap advantage. So this is definitely going the Leo's way. And I think a lot of it is to do with taking out those two destroyers. Uh, because, you know, they can't capture bases. Uh, that puzzles me. Because that Yudachi did actually fire torpedoes from B. Like, he shot them straight through the island. But he never picked up B. He never actually oh, attempted to, to capture B at all. And, uh, wow, this is, this is just easy sailing now, isn't it? <laughs> uh, the uh, the friendly team has both of their destroyers left, a cruiser and three battleships, and the enemy are just down to the Iowa, who was trying to dry hump the map border for the majority of the game, and, uh, and a Rishloo, which is making a direct course to the Iowa. I suppose, you know, there is there is some safety, there is some strength in numbers, and the two of them teaming up should actually help them quite a bit towards the uh, towards the end of this match. But uh, let's be honest, this 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 was this was one the second that second it actually went down. So uh, just waiting for the Leo to cap. And well, just waiting for him to uh, to get over. So uh, yeah, about these French DDs, I'm uh, I'm still I'm still struggling with them a little bit. 
I'm not gonna lie. And uh, my problem is I know they're gunboats and I probably try to use the guns a little bit too often and probably a bit too much. Like I think you're supposed to shoot, get like one or two salvos off and run. But I like to tend to stick there and uh, I keep on firing. So uh, yeah, we'll. Uh, I need to. I need to unlock the La Fantas the, the La Fantas screen, just in case uh, the sailing Robin is watching, because uh, he's not happy when people mispronounce his beloved French ships. <laughs> Uh, he did promise to hunt us down and kill us if we mispronounced any if any of the CCs mispronounced a French ship. So uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll see. I'm gonna get a angry Frenchman banging on my front door sometime soon. And the, what is this Richelieu? Has this Richelieu been AFK the whole game? I thought he was moving over towards the Iowa, but he's not. He's just he's just sitting there. Dunk, dunk. Death strike for torpedoes. And, uh, ooh, are the torpedoes and we get it. Is that double strike? I'm pretty sure that should, it We've was. There we go, a double strike. So, uh, thank you very much, the Leo, for sending that in. That's 114,000 damage. Uh, 9,000. <laughs> XP. I'm guessing that's a first win. 3,655 base XP and four kills. So yeah, thank you very much for sending that in. Uh, I hope uh, everyone enjoyed the, uh, the video today and it's nice to see someone do well in the destroyer as opposed to me taking them out and completely, completely potatoing. So thank you very much and until next time, take care. <laughs>